our day is actually filled with going over um, the testimony and pictures and evaluating pictures compared to our pictures, post-mortem pictures and things like that. We've been preparing since the day our son was murdered, and so uh, we feel that we have never changed our story. We know exactly what happened. We know how it happened, and we just want the truth to be known. Well, a actually, um, rather than focusing on suicide, we need to change it. Why? Uh, the motive and uh, what... And nobody's actually focused on what we've been saying all along. Long. Shane had told us months in advance that he felt his life was in danger. And we told this from the police at the very beginning. And we actually told this to the State Department that was there. We have witnesses uh, talking to the State Department and saying what our son was involved in. And, and after uh, February, that's when he really felt his life was in danger. So much so I said, Shane, if you, you truly believe that, you need to come home now. And he said, Dad, I can't do that because uh, I have to, I've given my word to give a two months notice. Uh, Shane was a man of honor, and he would follow through on that. And he, he also said that it, uh, that it would affect his ability to get a job in the future doing it. Now, Shane was very, very well published. He, he could get a, have gotten a, do, uh, a job any time. In fact, he had a very good job offer um, the week, uh, a couple weeks beforehand, and he was in the process of negotiating whether he could publish or how much vacation time he had uh, when he would go to this job in Virginia. We do have a pathologist report that, that it, we've, it's been in the news, and he believes that Shane was murdered. He believes he was garroted and hung on a door mm -hmm. um, because of the defensive wounds on his hands, the litigature on his neck, and the weight of his lungs. Mm -hmm. And so we would like that addressed in court. Mm -hmm. Our hope is that we get a congressional investigation in the United States mm -hmm. um, because uh, we fear that uh, U.S. security has been compromised, uh, that uh, we believe we know who the player is and that they've been in the news a lot, meaning Huawei and, and, uh, uh, and you know, IME itself. They're all culpable. And actually, uh, IME actually is, does a, a, a DARPA funding for the United States. You're familiar with DARPA is, it's defense for it. And, you, and at the same time, they, they work with Huawei, and there's obviously a danger of transferring technology in that regard. The FBI has Shane's external hard drive with all the evidence, so this story will not go away no matter how the judge rules mm -hmm. in this inquiry. Mm -hmm.